In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to stream on Twitch with the best settings in 2021. But first, you're gonna need a streaming software, so I recommend OBS or Streamlabs. Download links will be in the description below. Once you've downloaded OBS, head to the settings tab in the bottom right corner. From here, we're simply gonna to go to the streaming tab in the left right side, and you wanna select Twitch, and from here, all you need to do now is connect your account, which is gonna automatically input your stream key. After you've done that, I want you to head on over to the output tab and you can leave these as is. For the encoder, if you're using your CPU, you wanna use X264. And if you're using a graphics card, it'll come under as NVEC, but I don't have that, we're using the CPU. For the rescale output, make sure that's unchecked. For rate control, you want this on CBR, which is constant bit rate. For our bitrate, since we're going for 1080p HD on Twitch, I'm gonna be using 6,000 kilobits per second. I'm gonna have something pop up on the screen right now, which is gonna show you the encoder settings for Twitch, so you can adjust it depending on what you're going for. As far as the keyframe interval, leave that at two. For CPU usage, I'd recommend very fast to medium, and for the profile, we're gonna leave that on high. After you've done that, head over to the video tab, and from here, you wanna make sure your base canvas resolution is the same as the screen that you're playing on. So for me, I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so this is right. And for our output scaled resolution, I'm doing 1080p HD, so this is right as well, 1920 by 1080. As far as the downscale filter goes, I'd recommend you use Lanscos. It's the uh, best one, it's gonna give you the best quality. And for games like Call of Duty, I recommend you leave this on 60, where the game's super fast. It's gonna make the gameplay super smooth when you're actually streaming. If you leave it on 30, it's gonna be a little bit choppy. So for fast paced games, I'd recommend you leave it at 60. For pretty much everything else, you can leave your frames per second at 30. After you've done all these steps, simply press apply in the bottom right corner, and then we're gonna press okay. After you select apply, your stream information, as well as your stream chat's gonna pop up so you can interact with people while you're streaming. And the last thing you need to do is ensure that you have your game recording so simply go down to the plus sign in the bottom here and depending on how you're streaming you're either going to be using a video capture device or a game capture device or a display device so this video showed you how to stream on twitch and if you want to know the best settings for recording in obs make sure to click on the screen right now and other than that guys i'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video